But what I really want to show you with this module, what's going to get you really excited is the ability now to obviously share it on LinkedIn, to share it on the native platform, so to speak, correct? So what we can do is share it with thousands, if not millions of people all at once right here, right now in this little box. So let me start over. All I did was click this little LinkedIn square and I'm going to bring this into the screen so you can see. And it shows, it pops up a little window that says, hey, you want to share this on other places in LinkedIn? Great. Tell me where you want to share it. Now, I don't want to share it as an update because it already went out as an update once. So I'm going to undo that. But what I can do here is edit the headline and edit the summary. I don't like that that's cut off, so I'm going to go ahead um, read this post to find out how, right? So I'm just kind of cleaning that up. Um, you know what? I think that looks good, so I'm going to how to land new clients. Let's say use clients on LinkedIn in 14 seconds or less. Okay, so I like the headline. I like the little summary. The image looks good. Now again, I don't want to share it as a personal update because it already went out of my feed automatically as soon as I published it. This is where the magic happens though, is you click post to groups. And remember, at this point, I'm already in up to 50 different LinkedIn groups in my targeted niche trying to reach my target audience. And as I showed you when I'm signing up for groups, they can have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of members. They can have 40,000, 100,000, a million members, okay? When you share your post to a group and it gets published in a group, then all 40,000 or 100,000 or a million members see it. It shows up in their news feeds, it shows up in their alerts, it shows up in the group. That's the power of LinkedIn. So what I'm gonna do, rather than copying and pasting the URL to this blog into my 50 different LinkedIn groups, opening up 50 different windows or browsers, is just share it all at once. So what LinkedIn does with this box that I opened up, this sharing box, is it lets me literally type in just the first letter of the alphabet and it will pull up every LinkedIn group I'm in starting with the letter A. And then I just pull up every LinkedIn group I'm in starting with the letter B. And again, these are all targeted groups in my niche. The content I created is geared toward these guys. So it's going to be a perfect fit for these groups. That's important because I don't want to get flagged in these groups sharing content that's not relevant. So for instance, if this post was about healthcare for your toe, right? I wouldn't want to be sharing it in B2B online marketing or business networking international groups, right? I'd want to be sharing it in podiatry places or whatever. And that's fine. So you want to make sure again, when you're joining groups, or if you're in a bunch of different groups across different industries, be careful as you're selecting them here, um, not to go and share it in the wrong groups. So I'm just going through every single letter of the alphabet. And I'm sharing it one by one and what it's going to do is it's going to share it in all these groups all at once once i'm ready so i'm going to go through real quickly you can see i'm literally just typing through the alphabet see how fast this is rather than having to go through and copy paste copy paste copy paste this is a beautiful secret little hack on linkedin that i don't see a lot of people understanding or knowing about so we're going to go ahead and get this done we're going to go through and, and I'm going to let you watch because you're going to see how fast and easy this is. And if you're not sure, oh, did I click that group already? Just click it again because LinkedIn won't double post it. So you can just go through and you can see right now, you know, I'm lining up to share this post in 30, 40, 50 different groups all at once, probably totaling a couple million people. <laughs> which is awesome, right? So if this post really catches fire inside these groups where I'm sharing, if it starts getting engagement and comments and driving views, again, the way LinkedIn works is if Fred sees it in his sticky branding group and comments on it, well now not only will people in the sticky branding group see it, but people in Fred's homepage, home feed will see it and they'll go, Fred commented on a post that John Nemo did, what's that? Oh, the title's interesting or the image is interesting, I'm gonna go look at it too. And then people in their feed see it and on and on and on it goes, which is the magic of LinkedIn, of course. Okay, so at this point, I've identified all my groups, 40 or 50 groups. Now, this is a key thing. See where it says add a discussion title? A lot of people make a mistake and they just copy and paste in the blog post name 
or the content name. And I do not want to do that. One of the secrets to really getting your posts not only approved and published inside of LinkedIn groups is all in the discussion title, but also getting engagement, right? So it's very important that you don't put in a gimmicky title or a go read this title, but rather think of it again like a cocktail party or a dinner party. Ask a question that has a social cue to prompt a response. So yes or no, is this a good idea? What do you think of this, question mark? Am I using LinkedIn the right way, question mark? Would you try this tactic on LinkedIn, question mark? So in my case, I've done a little brainstorming and I'm thinking, what's a good question to kind of pique people's interest in the group? And I think what I'm gonna say is this, what's the most outrageous thing you've sent a new LinkedIn connection? For me, it was a 60 second video of a basketball player shattering a glass backboard during a game during a 1988 college basketball game. Um, and true story, it ended up getting me a huge marketing contract. I'd love to hear any unusual or unorthodox approaches you take to connecting and messaging and sharing with new contacts on LinkedIn and if you've ended up let's see and you just have to kind of think this out with any crazy or fun stories as a result and hopefully some success too um, and you know, and just to explain the full story, I blogged about it here on LinkedIn and a link to the full post is below. But first and foremost, okay. But I always wanna make this about the group discussion. Yes, I want people to go over and look at my link, but I want the group moderators and the group members also just to be able to have a standalone discussion. I don't want it to have to be based on my post, right? I want them to come in and share their own crazy stories, right? So um, maybe I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna play with this now that I'm thinking about it. Would you ever send something like this? Would you ever send a funny YouTube video to a LinkedIn connection. Why or why not? You know, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think out loud here, guys. And this is kind of the fun part of it. And you can experiment it. You can play with it. You can even test it where maybe you just do 10 groups first and share it. Then reshare the icon again. Do another 10 groups with a different subject line, a different title. And see what works. See what kind of questions get responded to. Okay, and I've done even more tweaking because again, this is critical, really understanding how important these headlines are, these questions, not only the headline for the blog up here at the top, right, how to land new clients on LinkedIn in 14 seconds or less, and then a great one sentence teaser, but really going down to the group discussion and saying, you know, now I've tried a new question that I'm going to test with some of these groups. What's the most off topic or outrageous LinkedIn message you've ever sent or received and did it work? And maybe I'm going to shorten that even more. What's the most outrageous LinkedIn message you've ever sent or received and did it work again inspiring curiosity that's a social cue for you to share a story with me in the comments and I'm gonna say for me it was a 60 second video of a basketball player shit it was a 60 second video I sent to a new connection that featured a basketball player shattering a glass backboard to a 1988 college game Right, so I'm gonna share my crazy story first. And true story, it ended up getting me a huge marketing contract. And then I say, I'd love to hear any unusual or unorthodox approaches you've taken to connecting to messaging and sharing with contacts on LinkedIn, any funny stories, you know, and then of course, by the way, I'll share my blog below of my full story, but either way, let me know in the comments right away your stories so that we can have a standalone discussion too. Because the key again is 
being the host, right? Being the host of this conversation, this dinner party atmosphere, this mixer of, hey, you know, what do you guys think of this? Have you ever had anything crazy like that happen, et cetera, et cetera? And then, yes, you have valuable content and links to, but you're not having to do a heavy sales push and you're cueing people to start engaging and bantering with you. 